I gotta ask you, the two, you mentioned like kind of over here, the two craziest things you've ever done in your life are? Yeah, so the show Looking for a Fight, I rode a bull, that's how I got into, you know, into bulls, and uh, on the same show we chummed up the water out in the middle of Florida and swam with sharks. Two of the stupidest things and scariest and most dangerous things I've ever done. Getting on a bull, what, what's that? What's the mentality? What's the feeling? What's the emotions? <laughs> well, if you're me, it's pure stupidness. Uh, never did it before. We didn't have the proper safety equipment or any of that. But, you know, I, I, I think the reason that I fell in love with it is because the mentality is much like fighting. To step into a cage in front of the whole world and test yourself against somebody that's trained and as good as you are is crazy and scary. Then to get into that rack and slide in on a bowl. And I always said to myself, I said, you know, if I got in there and they strap your hand in, you have to go like this to tell them to open the cage. I said, I, I, I don't know if I would do it, if I would actually do it. Oh, you'll do it because the bull is smashing your legs into the side of the, of the rails. And it's like the ride can't be worse than what's happening inside here. The, the, the mental toughness and the absolute craziness you have to have in you to be a bull rider is just next level. But I fell in love with, with the sport and I started buying bulls back in 2016 in hopes to get into the PBR. One of my, the first bull I ever owned, was, his name was F-Bomb. He's retired now, he's out. My other bulls are in the Velocity Tour, which is like the, the AAA. And then this is my first uh, bull to ever make it to the big show, the PBR. How, how many seconds did you ride when you were done? I rode, we just watched it the other day, I rode like three seconds. Yeah. An ugly, <laughs> ugly three seconds. How'd the name, you know about the, the name behind Twisted Steel? Yeah, so my, my partner is Dennis Davis in the boat. And in partner means I put up the money and he does all the work. Um, he, na he names the bulls. He comes up with the greatest names ever. F-Bomb was, was my first one. We got Sour Diesel, uh, Stank Face, um, <laughs> White Thunder, and now Twisted Steel. Dana, do you plan on buying more bulls? Do you think you'll get one off this? Are you hoping that this is like your champion and this is the one you're going to take to the top? Yeah, so hopefully, you know, th th this guy, you know, becomes big. So the way that this kind of works is if he does good things in the PBR and he can get, th then you, you, you stud him. You end up studying the, the bulls. But uh, yeah, it's just, listen, I like it. It's fun and uh, I enjoy it. And of course, my first bull to make it into the PBR. It's the same exact weekend as uh, as Abu Dhabi fight, so I can't even be here for it. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping uh, he does well. Is this one of the more quirky hobbies you've ever had? Yeah, I, I don't know. I got some. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question, but uh, it's fun. I, I enjoy it. I, 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 I like uh, I like being in the bull business, and I like. Uh, you know, I finally have one of the PBR. I think this is where it starts to get really exciting. So, if he can do something, it'll be fun. It's like, you know what it's like? It's no different than if you think back in the boxing days. All these guys, uh, these hedge fund guys and these business guys used to back boxers to see if the boxer could make it up and, and win a world title. And once they won a world title, that was how everybody got their money back back in the days. Um, Michael Moore was backed by a bunch of finance guys and a lot of other fighters, but the bull business is sort of like that. It's a bit like owning a horse, right? Other guys buy horses. Yeah, that's, like that's the other thing. You hope to win, you know, we're one of the big championships if you own a horse. I want to ask you a couple of questions outside. The bull riding is much cheaper. Yeah, yeah. Much cheaper than the horses, yeah. Fair and more violent and more exciting. Yeah, players. exactly. Um, you got Alex Volkanovsky to step in on short notice, but then you went and almost topped it by getting Kamari to move up a division and fight Hamza on even shorter notice. I'm curious, I know Alex said yes right away. What was it like talking to Kamari and getting that deal done? Yeah, listen, I, I said it uh, yesterday and I'll say it again today. The four guys that are involved in the main and co-main event going into uh, next Saturday, it, it, it's what it's all about. I keep talking about Islam Magachev's quote that he gave and, and uh, you know, when, when an opportunity presents itself, if you're, if you're a real guy and, and you're in this for all the right reasons, you step up and you take these fights and, you know, it's just, it, I swear to God to you guys, I, I, I got to find out if it's up yet. But I called the team yesterday, I said I want Islam Makachev's quote in the Apex and I want it in the PI. It's going up on the wall. That's how, how much I love this shit. It's cool, right, because, you know, for newer guys and up-and-comers, you understand why they'll take any opportunity to try and get their name. But for Alex and Kamari, they're like two of the pound-for-pound -pound best in the world, and it's still so cool to see them be this hungry and be like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll take this challenge, I'll meet this head on. But look at the buzz and the excitement. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? The energy. What does that tell you? It tells you they made the right choice, and this is the type of stuff 
that we as fight fans love and get excited about. Um, so yesterday when I posted the video of the announcement, it, it had 10 million views. 10 million views in like 10 hours. So what, is, I mean, it's just, that answers all the questions. Yeah, as a fight itself, how do you see that Kamara hands that fight going? It seems like, you know, Kamara's the immovable object and hands out this unstoppable force. Do you think that's just going to be three rounds of chaos? Yeah, so Usman has like a 93 point something percent uh, uh, takedown, uh, you know, yeah. defense rate. The highest in the welterweight division of all time. Uh, Hamzat likes to take people down and smash them. That, you know, because of both of their wrestling, this probably ends up being a, a stand up war. Yeah, it's a fun fight. Very fun fight. Uh, I'm sure you don't want to get into it too much. Obviously, yesterday, Hunter and Jeff spoke about Usada and everything. Um, they dealt with that really well, but I'm curious, when you first saw their press release and what they said, what was your immediate reaction to their press release? Well, I think I, 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 I summed it up yesterday in one word, scumbag. Um, listen, it is what it is. They did what they did. And uh, think about this, right? They're in a business where they're looking to bring other sports leagues in. We were with us for eight years. Uh, we helped put them on the map. They helped us build an incredible program. This is how you're gonna end your relationship with us? Who else would wanna do business with these guys after that? Not me, so it doesn't matter to me. We're moving on and uh, good luck to them. It sort of feels like, I don't wanna uh, sort of make my own mind up, but it sort of feels like, hey, they just lost 30% of their budget. And they're pretty pissed off about it. That's what it feels like. Listen, this guy went, full Britney Spears and <laughs> lost his mind. I was what? Get ready. Probably gonna see this guy on Instagram dancing with knives. <laughs> probably in the next uh, two weeks or something. Uh, you know, he went. He went nuts. He lost his mind, and you know, it is what it is. It's whatever. Dana, you mentioned uh, horse racing, and there's a difference in horse racing where the jockey and the horse are working together. Mm -hmm. But in this, they're working against each other. So who are you rooting for? You're rooting for your bull, right? To Absolutely. So how does that, but you've got all these guys here. So oh, they're great guys. Here. I love them. I hope they get thrown right up into the second <laughs> row of the stands on Saturday night. <laughs> I'm rooting for the bull. Uh, some of the bull business, not the bull rider business. How do you, how do the metrics work to know when your bull is doing well? Is it by the seconds? Yeah, they rate bulls. And listen, I'm the furthest thing from the expert on this, but they rate bulls. What you want is you want a bull that doesn't throw everybody off immediately. You want a bull that's actually kind of rideable, but, you know, is uh, is badass enough to, to, to throw some people off. Have you ever this one? No, listen, we showed up at this thing when we did this episode of Looking for a Fight, I thought we were like going there to make it funny and ride like baby bulls or something. The producer of Looking for a Fight, we show up there. This is a PBR training center, right? Where these bulls are in, in Houston, Texas. We don't have the, the, we didn't even have mouthpieces. We didn't have anything. We had no, we didn't have the proper equipment. It was a 45 minute ride out there. 45 minute ride back, so you know, you're, you're killing almost two hours. We only have so much time to film. Matt Sarah said, fuck it, I'm gonna ride the bull. I was like, oh my God. Then I gotta ride the bull, right? <laughs> if he's gonna ride, I gotta ride, so we did it. And it was, you know, it's, it's, it's not something that I would uh, say that everybody does or should try it once in their lifetime. It's the exact opposite. But uh, we did it and I lived through it and it got me into the sport. If you can compare Twisted Steel to one UFC fighter, who would it be? Well, all these bulls. I mean, these bulls. It's funny because it, it, it's crazy to compare it, but it's it's so like fighting. You know, bull riding is so much like fighting. First of all, the mentality you have to have, the durability, the toughness, um, the ability to separate fear. You know what I mean? When when you you saw when he was inside that shoot there for the weigh-in. Now imagine climbing up on that fence and sliding your legs down in there and having them strap your hand to him and then letting him run out here. And it's just, it's one of the scariest, most adrenaline-filled insanity. It's, it's just, it's, it's fucking nuts. And think about this. Imagine showing up to T-Mobile Arena. The place is sold out and packed and the whole world is watching on television and getting in the cage and actually fighting somebody else. I mean, they're, they are very similar when it comes to the mentality and the toughness and, and just the, uh, to be able to separate yourself with fear and anxiety and all the things that go on, you know, 
in facing something like this. They're, they're very, very similar. Danny, maybe it's not fair, but you mentioned you'd love to see the cowboy get thrown into the second row. What UFC fighter would you want to put on a ball? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, listen, I think that, to be honest with you, a lot of our fighters, you know, these, these are tough guys. I mean, we see some of the, and girls, tough guys and girls. When you see what these guys do in the cage and how they come out after a fight, these, these our fighters could be bull riders, and these guys could probably be fighters. If, you know, it, it's uh, it's very similar. I, 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 it's probably why I like it so much. Now your partner is Tristan Still. He uh, he said that he puts his bull riders up against the fighters, the toughest guys in the world. What do you say to that? I think it's a bad idea. I think they, you know, <laughs> bull riding and, and fighting are two completely different things. Uh, our, our, our athletes are some of the, literally the baddest people on earth. I mean, everybody who fights in the UFC, forget about top 10. I mean, if you're in the top 10, you are one of the, literally the baddest humans on the planet. And uh, yeah, they want to stick to bull riding. They don't want to fight. Now, when you named your other girl Stank Face, yeah. were you thinking of the UFC fighter? No, no, no. <laughs> Dennis, Dennis names all the. Dennis comes up with the greatest names of all time. I, I love his, uh, his, uh, his, 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 all the names he comes up with. These bulls are awesome. Speaking of the f bombs, how many f bombs did you drop when you rode the bull? <laughs> Not many. I, I was dropping some f bombs before I got on the bull. Um, yeah, I was. I actually wasn't saying much, man. I was just trying to mentally get in the zone and get on this thing. Sarah had just done it. He lived, so I, uh, I just did it. You just kind of go on autopilot and just do it. Cool? Thanks for showing up here today.